This tutorial is going to show you how we can use Logger Pro software to create a velocity versus time graph from the video analysis that we have so far performed. I currently have shown here the position versus time squared graph that we linearized from our original graph. The original graph can be shown by clicking on the column or the the axis label here and just selecting time. Here is our original graph that you see here. There is also position available for the Y column, but I'm not interested in that. I'm only interested in the X. So I'm going to go back to my original time squared graph and you can see how it looks linear here and I apply a linear fit and we can get that information for the slope of this. But this video is going to be about how we can actually create a velocity versus time graph. I would like to go ahead and show you that we can do that pretty easily because of the data that's already been collected in the video analysis process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this axis back to time because we want velocity versus time. And over here on the vertical, I'm going to actually select X velocity. I want velocity in the X direction as we have defined it with our coordinate axes. So you can see that this is the actual shape of my velocity in the X direction. It looks pretty linear, except at the beginning and the very end, we have some interesting things going on. Part of that's going to be related to how Logger Pro actually determines the velocity for a particular point. The method that it currently uses is it actually takes one point of position and it uses three points before and three points after. And as a result, because at the beginning of the motion, there aren't three points of position before, and at the end of the motion, there aren't three points after, it uses a little different process to determine what those velocities are. We don't want to worry about that. We're going to ignore the first three points. We're going to ignore the last three points. And what I'm going to ask you to do is click and drag along the middle region, not including the first three points and not including the last three points, and then applying a fit to that region. It does look pretty linear, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that linear fit. And we can see that I am getting a slope given here. I'm showing an intercept. But more importantly, I see a correlation of 0.9982, which suggests a strong relationship between velocity and time. So clicking on the axes labels and then just selecting the region for the linear, print, linear fit is how we can best actually construct a velocity versus time graph from our video analysis assignment.